And the message they were trying to send is what they believe internally. And that is that the United States is a once great superpower that's hollowed out, that's in decline. And the message they're trying to send the world is, look, these guys can't even do anything about a balloon. Oh, you mean the balloon that just got destroyed by a missile strike that was ordered by Joe Biden, Marco? That balloon, the balloon we see right next to you? I mean, flying over US airspace, how can you possibly count on them if, if something were to happen in the Indo Pacific region? But the balloon was shot out of the sky. What, what do you mean? I mean, the, the balloon was taken down. Yeah, and I think they understood that ultimately that would probably be what would could happen. And then they would make this other statement about, oh, the US is overreacting. It's just a weather balloon. Look how silly they got. The Pentagon did in fact shoot down the Chinese surveillance balloon over the weekend as it traveled off the coast of South Carolina. And we're also learning that there were three similar Chinese surveillance balloons that traversed in the United States during the Trump administration. But of course, that didn't stop the Republican Party from politicizing the situation with the most recent Chinese surveillance balloon, all while pretending like none of this happened during the Trump administration. Now, an official revealed during a briefing on Saturday this past weekend that the US was aware of three other instances during the prior administration, meaning during Trump's administration, and one instance earlier in the Biden administration. Uh, now, PRC, this is from the briefing itself, People's Republic of China, government surveillance balloons transited the continental United States briefly at least three times during the prior administration and once that we know of at the beginning of this administration, but never for the duration for this duration of time. Meaning the latest surveillance balloon was uh, hovering above the United States, mainland United States for the longest period of time. We spoke directly with Chinese officials through multiple channels, but rather than address their intrusion into our airspace, the PRC put out an explanation that lacked any credibility. Now again, this not only did nothing to deter Republicans from going after Biden specifically, but it also set Trump off. Wait before we get to Trump's statement or response to all of this. But Jenk, I wanted to give you a chance to jump in on this balloon situation. Yeah, so there's all these sleights of hand and hard to sometimes see things that are in plain sight. So if you've ever seen the video of the gorilla crossing the basketball court, you don't see him because you're looking at the dribbler. This is exactly like that. Marco Rubio's, well, similar to that. Marco Rubio is sitting there with the balloon getting shot down right next to him on video. And he's like, they can't even shoot down a balloon. Okay, if you said that before time, which I had concerns about, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, that's one thing. But after they've shot it down, nope, still going with the talking point. Yep. Doesn't matter what reality is because we're dead Republicans. So the second illusion that you miss, even though now when you look back at it, you'll go, oh my God, you're right, is the size of Marco Rubio's ears. <laughs> Oh I had never noticed them before. I don't think they just think. keep on growing. No, it is it is stunning how large those ears are. Okay, okay, that that shot's okay, but in the in the video you'll see you you can rewind this video and see. Well, it. anyway, he looks very young, but he's up there in age. And I don't know if this is true, but I've read that as you age, your ears keep growing, even though your body stops growing. Really? Well, yeah, my I don't know God, how true Margo that is. Rubio must be a hundred and ten. Okay, those things are gigantic. All right, back to reality, back to the things that matter. Um, so, um, <laughs> number one, guys, uh, I love the Republican statements on uh, that definitely didn't happen under Trump, okay? And then Marco Rubio <laughs> was like, it happened, but for a shorter period of time. So, well, okay, first, let's sort out did it happen and it was short, or did it not happen at all? Because Pompeo and Trump were swearing up and down, oh, you never heard of it. You'll get the statement saying, but it's not just Trump, it's Pompeo, who's the Secretary of State, etc. Meanwhile, other Republicans are like, short, really short periods of time. They yeah. don't know. Yeah. It's two different excuses, and they didn't bother coordinating. They're hilarious. The five second rule only applies to food, and even in that case, it's not real, okay? <laughs> okay, no. as to the substance of it, look, um, I partly took this from you. I don't mean to throw you under the bus, but $800 billion in defense spending every year and we can't shoot down a balloon over the mainland. No, okay. that was a great point. You're not throwing me under the bus by repeating <laughs> my great point, which I told you off air. Yeah. Uh, but you should give me credit for making that great point initially. I, I was trying, that's what I was trying to do. Anyway, <laughs> so 
But it turns out, and now to me, when I heard that they shot it out of the air, I thought, okay, what's critical is where did they shoot it out? Okay, because if it was still over land, then their original excuse of, well, it's over land and we, it's the size of three buses and we don't want it to fall and hurt anyone, turns out was BS and Biden panicked. And then it's like, oh, Fox News talking about it too much. Just shoot it down over Ohio for the best, right? But no, it turns out, no, they were consistent throughout. They waited till it was over the Atlantic Ocean and then shot it down so it didn't hurt anyone. So right. you know what? Turns out, <laughs> like, it's amazing the sorry state of the Republican Party. Because the Pentagon lies less than they do. No, look, everybody <laughs> lies. Everybody's full of it, right? And regardless of what the Biden administration and the Pentagon under the leadership of the Biden administration did, the Republican Party was going to politicize this. Billion because percent. any they want to do anything other than govern the country. Okay, anything other than actually working toward policies that would benefit the very constituents who elected them into office in the first place. Look, I don't know what the answer is, okay? China has an interest in spying on us. The United States has an interest in spying on China. I'm sure we do it to China. I'm sure we do it to all sorts of countries <laughs> all throughout the world, okay? I don't know what what the solution is. First of all, how did it come to be that the surveillance balloon was able to get into our airspace before being shot down to begin with? Well, I have a slightly different question because it's possible that you're, we're not monitoring every square inch of the Pacific Ocean. Maybe we and, should. And then it crosses over into the mainland. But at that point, my question becomes, all right, what's our standard going forward? This, is it the minute it you know, gets over a little bit of land? Well, that's it. We just got to let it go across the entire yeah. country, right? Is that our only option? And maybe because this is a relatively new phenomenon, that is our only option. But they should come up with a plan B. Okay, but <laughs> let me say one other thing. Not to minimize the seriousness of a foreign country spying on us. But I'm gonna minimize the seriousness of the foreign yeah. country spying on us in this context. Because really, this is the best surveillance technique the Chinese can come up with. I didn't mean to dehumanize Chinese people by calling them the Chinese. I'm sorry to the Associated Press and to <laughs> everyone else who's offended by the, the use of the in this context. No, but seriously, the size of three buses, it's bright white just hovering above the United States. Like really, that's that's their best surveillance mechanism. And they put that mechanism. Andy Rooney looking dude inside and that I thought was like weird, needless. What? It's a reference to Up, the movie. Oh. <laughs> okay, so first of all, look, they, I thought a very similar thing. I thought this thing is so gigantic, it's slightly smaller than Marco Rubio's ears. Oh my God. Okay, and so you can roll the entire B-roll over me if you want the video so you can see <laughs> Rubio's ears again. Okay, um, so, uh, but no, I'm like, wait. The Chinese don't have satellites that can spy in on us, way more effective. No, 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 take the entirety, I want the ears to be larger. Roll it over me, not even to the side of me, okay? <laughs> okay, so uh, they don't have anything better than sending a freaking balloon. Why don't you send a kite along with it? And then I'm always amused by our faux outrage, like, there's gambling in this establishment. There's spying in this establishment between these two countries as if we don't spy on, Ch of course we spy on China. In fact, I hope we're spying on China. Are we like, oh no, no, that wouldn't be cool, guys? And then we send like outrage <laughs> letters to them, like, we caught your balloon, okay? And you've been a naughty, naughty government spying in on us, and we're pure as the driven snow. And so, right. of course, we wouldn't do that. Now, oh, so, by the way, my before we get to the ultimate nonsense of Donald Trump, the penultimate thing is. Guys, you know what the conclusion is? We both do it to each other. They got caught in this case. I don't know if we shot it down too early or too late, but all of this is a distraction because at the end of the day, none of your wages went up and you still don't have health. That's thank you. <laughs> That's the only point, really. Okay? Look, I don't I would like to be spied on a little more covertly. <laughs> okay? Like if you're going to spy on us, at least have the decency to do so in a more secretive way. Cuz I don't like seeing that you're spying on us, right? Yes. That really offends me. <laughs> now, I would prefer there was no spying happening at all, but of course the spying happens. The other thing I wanted to just go back to, circle back to, if you will, uh, is Donald Trump's reaction to this news from the Pentagon that there were three instances during his administration where there was a similar surveillance balloon by the Chinese. Uh, he says, now they are putting out that a balloon, not a, three, 
three. Balloon was put up by China during the Trump administration in order to take the heat off the slow moving Biden fools. China had too much respect for Trump, in quotation marks, weirdly, for this to have happened and it never did just fake disinformation. If it's fake disinformation, does it mean that it's accurate information? <laughs> I never thought of that, that's another good point. Score one, one more for Casper. All right, my point here is like, I, one of my favorite nonsense things that people take seriously is, they would have too much respect for Donald Trump. Yeah, that's how countries work. No, They're seriously, <laughs> Xi Jinping is like, you know, we really wanted to spy on the United States for our own self interest, but Trump was in charge and we're like, mm, respectable guy, we decided against it. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, we were gonna compete with America viciously in every economic way and uh, take most of your jobs from you and a lot of your industries. But we had too much respect for Donald J. Trump. Yep. And <laughs> but people like, they're like, oh, did he? Did, does China respect Biden enough? It has nothing to do with respect. It has everything to do with them executing their policies that they would have done no matter what. Please stop being laughable. Finally, just a, a few other Republican lawmakers that are worthy of being dunked on. Uh, beginning with Republican Senator Tom Cotton, who went on Fox News to uh, blame the Trump era balloons on Democrats. Of course. What about this contention that these balloons have gone over the US or some portion of the US under previous administrations and they didn't shoot it down that we know of? So I've spoken to a lot of former Trump administration officials. They say they're not aware of anything like this happening during their administration. It's possible maybe that it happened first during the Obama administration and the military was told at the time that this is no big deal and they shouldn't raise the alarm bells on it. We need to get answers to that as well though. I think some may be conflating what Lucas just reported, you know, balloons floating within the 12 mile exclusionary zones of places like Hawaii or Guam, and a spy balloon going all across the middle of the country. Those are two very different circumstances. Maybe what's even more worrisome is one, did our senior military know about these balloons in the past and not inform their civilian superiors? He just, he just floated a theory that has absolutely no evidence behind it. I mean, maybe there were spy balloons during Obama's administration, maybe. I mean, no one said that there weren't. Uh, I <laughs> Look, I'm nearly positive it started under Eisenhower. And maybe, so, maybe. And Eisenhower, I, if you guys might remember, is a Republican. And so, ah, gotcha. Look, guys, again, like when I get to Republican statements, I either Read them for just for laughs, like, oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, or just like a lot of times I just will skip over them. The, why? These days they have almost no chance of being true or sensible, where you go, oh, interesting counterpoint. I used to say that back in the day. I haven't said that about a Republican point in at least a decade, right? So of course they're gonna say, oh, it was under Trump and he went three times as many. Uh, yeah. How about the ones under Obama? Oh, good counterpoint. The ones that didn't exist, okay. I, why does everything immediately need to devolve into a bipartisan issue, right? Yeah, yeah, or a partisan issue. I'm sorry, a, a partisan issue, exactly. Yeah. It's just, it doesn't matter, the balloon is gone. We need to have a plan moving forward to deal with similar balloon situations, okay? Here, I'll start a conspiracy theory. Let's see if the internet actually picks it up and the right wing believes it. Mm. I heard that the Chinese balloon had let's go Brandon on it. Mm. In big markers, crayons and markers, okay? Said, let's go, Brandon. You know why? Not enough respect for Joey Biden. That Joey was the problem. B. Okay, so let's see if it takes off on the right wing. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Here at TYT, we work to cut through all the establishment media's biases and bring you the news from a factual and progressive viewpoint. Now, allow me to introduce you to Ground News, a new tool that you can use to stay informed on what's really going on around the world. Ground News doesn't just bring you the information, it also provides you with an easy to use rating system that measures each article's political leanings, factuality, and gives you complete transparency on who owns the news that you're reading. Like today, I was on their site and I saw an article about some improvements in the ozone layer. And I was a little skeptical because good news about the climate is pretty rare these days. But with over 100 sources originating from an even spread of news organizations, I was confident that what I was reading was true. So score one for Earth. 
So get the whole picture and break through the corporate media agenda by subscribing to Ground News Today.